How's it going everyone? This is Doom Kid. Um, I'm just going to be showing you how to play Doom online today. Um, it's a pretty active community for such an old game. Uh, so yeah, we'll just get right into it. So as you can see here, I've got the four main Doom data wads. Um, these come, if you buy Doom through Steam or if you have it on a CD, it should come with at least one of these, or in some cases all four of them. Um, this is Doom 1, Doom 2, and the two episodes of Final Doom. You don't absolutely have to, but it's recommended that you have all four if you want to play online, because on, on all four of them you'll find servers. Doom 2 is usually the main IWAD, or you can even use uh, Free Doom, but I think that um, it's best to have all four, so you have the widest range of servers. Now, uh, once you have your Doom data files here, you need to download four different programs. Um, three of them are source ports for Doom, actual engines that run the game. Um, the three are Xandronum, Zdaemon, and Odomix, and then you need a program to actually browse servers for the three ports, and uh, Doom Explorer is the one that I use. So, first we'll just go to Xandronum.com. The latest version, 2.1.2, it's the simplest thing um, for people to just download instantly. Xandronum is the most popular of the three. Um, you'll find the most servers here, but it still will find a lot of servers on um, Zdaemon and Odomex as well. Uh, so I, I recommend having all three installed. So, and, and I also have a universal Doom folder. Like, I would just put uh, Xandronum, Odomex, and Zdaemon all in here as folders to keep them nice and organized. It makes sense to have them all together since they all do essentially the same thing for you. There we go, so that's Xandronum installed. Now, Zdaemon's a bit older than Xandronum. It, uh, it's, Xandronum forked off of Skulltag a few years ago, whenever Skulltag development ceased. Um, Zdaemon has just been kind of, like, Skulltag started in 2000. Zdaemon started in 2001, but it really has more of a focus on um, old school Doom. So, whereas Xandronum has a lot of mods, uh, Zdaemon has a lot of mods as well, but uh, there just tend to be that sort of classic Doom feel. Um, they're not as, they're not overall as new school as Xandronum. There's the Zdaemon folder. So once that's installed, so that, that, that dialog there should just end. Whenever this is all gray out, you just hit close. And that means you've successfully installed Zdaemon. And, uh, uh, Odomex, it doesn't has the least players, but if you're into deathmatch and duel, and sort of like, for lack of a better term, like serious doom. I know that sounds absurd to say that, but it uh, it's really good. It, it it basically mimics the vanilla behavior extremely accurately, and uh, that's why it has that reputation. Um, it's really not as popular as the others, but it's still it's still good to have it because sometimes you'll see big capture the flag or big death matches there and uh, and they won't you won't see any if you're looking for a death match which just tends to be my favorite game mode you might not find much um, on the other ports and yet randomly you'll find one on Odomex. so it's, it's good to have all three installed uh, for that reason so there we go finish up with Odomex there and now, we'll download Doom Explorer. Search for that one, I'm not sure what the URL is. Here it is. So this is the, um, this is the URL for Doom Explorer here. And uh, this is a really convenient program that has chat and server browsing built in for the three multiplayer ports. Now it has a lot of single player support as well. If you wanted to have a, a good single player launcher, this would also do the trick for you, but we're um, looking for that multiplayer stuff right now. So now what we'll do, I always keep all the Doom stuff together, as I mentioned earlier. Um, it's just easier. Um, 
and everything's all in one nice convenient spot. Everything Doom related. Alright, so now you close Firefox or uh, your browser, and now all the programs have been installed, and uh, we have our main Doom wants here. So now, what we'll do, we'll open up Doom Explorer. The shortcut on the desktop will also work. Um, this is the first one. Do you want to import? Since this might be your first time, just do a, um, a cancel here. Searching can find it automatically, but it tends to take a while. And you right away go up to options. Right in here, you've got your setup for how Doom Explorer is going to look. But first and foremost, we'll tell it where everything is. So it asks you right away when you click Add for Otomex. So that'll be on your desktop. Well, not be on your desktop, but it'll be in your Doom folder there. And then you click Add again next to Z Daemon. See, and this is why it's convenient having them all in one spot too, because once you added the first one, Xandronal. Okay, now we've got our three Doom programs loaded in. Uh, WAD path. Now this is where it wants to see where your WADs are. Now we put our WADs just directly in Doom. There they are. You can see it. It recognizes the files. So we click OK. And now this has basically told it whenever you're connecting to a server to use those WADs in your Doom folder as the base game. So now what you'll do, there's a, a program called GetWAD that automatically downloads um, files. But every, almost every server will have mods on it. You will find servers that are just running the default campaign, but most servers feature mods. And um, I, I would have them download just directly to the Doom folder since there's nothing in there but WADs as it, as it stands. It makes sense to just continue that. So all your mods will download to this directory, whatever directory you choose here. It's good to have a, a folder you don't mind getting crowded because over the course of connecting to just a few servers, you may end up with 10 to 20 wads downloaded um, because there's a lot of different map packs and mods that keep the game really interesting that people play regularly. So once you've got that set, um, I always click start from multiplayer page since I mainly like to play multiplayer. Um, Search LAN, I mean, that doesn't matter that much. That's only for if you're starting a local game with someone else in your actual home network. Um, all this stuff is fine. Um, this just basically puts it down there and whatnot. This is uh, basically, if you just change, you change this stuff, if the appearance, if you don't like the appearance, like for example, I think up to 250 is acceptable. Ping, so I'll change that to 250. And uh, you wanted to check for updates right away because every update to this program is an improvement. I've been using uh, Doom Explorer and Internet Doom Explorer for years now, and the program's great, so I, I definitely always check for uh, updates. It's generally just a bug fix for the program, it only takes a brief minute to download. Uh, main toolbar, this is fine. You can set it to the top and you can remove the graphics as it suits you, but I think the way it comes here is just fine. I, I, I don't like to have it automatically refresh the servers, but it, that's just a preference type thing. Tables now. What I do is I additionally sort the players by number. So this means that the most populated server will be at the top of the list. It makes it much easier to browse. It helps you get into a fun game fast. And um, the color and the player column, I mean, that doesn't really matter that much. Uh, this stuff, I, I like to just, I don't mess with any of this because the server selection, it's basically ways you can sort the list and they're all, uh, they're all useful to have in place, so I just keep them going. Uh, wads, get wad, we've already set up all that. The masters, they set themselves by default. Here we go. So the launch game basically tells it what your in-game name is going to be and you can pick whatever your in-game color is going to be by default. This is the color of your Doom guy. So um, you t you, if you don't check them, if you don't check those boxes, it won't know to use this information. So check them all. And then I, I just go as Doom Kid, so I'll just type that for each one. 
if you want to have a different name for different ports or whatever, this is the place you can set that easily. You can change all this stuff in-game as well. But uh, it's nice to just have it there. And Xandronum actually has the cool feature of a colored name, so you can go ahead and add custom colors and stuff out to it as you see fit. Um, I actually typed Xandronum. Um, yeah, so let's say you wanted blue Doom Guy instead of green whenever you're joining the game. There you go. Now you'll now you join the game as a blue Doom Guy. Um, I like to refresh the server before launching because this allows you to see sometimes a server can empty out or fill up in a blink of an eye. And this lets you see if that's happened as you're connecting. Um, enables the Andromeda. This is a good thing to have uh, checked as well because a lot of those Andromeda servers are in testing mode right now. And uh, this just removes any hassle and just automatically installs and sets up anything for you. But you have to go to the multiplayer tab or the CD board. And here you can enter a nickname and enter a new profile, uh, an, a password for your profile. And you can put whatever you want in here and update it. So instead of saying I am a newbie or whatever, you can have your own actual little account. And uh, as you get more EXP in Z Daemon, because uh, a lot of the deathmatch and dual servers enable EXP for your account. This will change, and eventually you can customize it to have your own. Uh, on this player list here, you can see this is where you refresh the list of who's been on the last 24 hours. Well, it's really cool to have uh, your own account, and it's something that makes Z-Daemon interesting um, and uh, separates it from the other two ports. Gives it its own unique uh, feature. So here we'll go into multiplayer. Now we'll go into the servers. Now here. You can sort everything. You can refresh them to see what's, what's currently on. So let's see, like right now, we've got these servers active. There's 44 players online. Now, mind you, this is I'm in Australia, so this is the middle of the night in the US. Uh, at peak hour, there's often over 100 people uh, playing at any given time. Here you can sort by ping. So if you can put the highest ping or the lowest ping, and you can click here to sort by ports. And I like to have it so all the ports are intermingled. So you can have the lowest ping in Xandronum, um, Zdaemon, Odomex, all of them. So this is your server list. So now it's easy. And as you double click on one of these servers, it'll say, this, this requires a special version of Xandronum. That's because this is a testing server. Xandronum is currently in testing mode, as I mentioned now. This just installs it. And hassle free sets it right up for you. So now it is telling you all the different mods that are present on this server. See, I've joined a mega game server, so there's a lot of different PK3s. You just simply click search wads, and this will go and actually download them all from the net directly to the Doom folder that we configured earlier. Most servers only take a minute to connect, although some have. You can see here the number of mods loaded. For example, this server only has Blue Doom, so uh, connecting to that will only take a brief moment. Other servers have a lot more mods, but you know what? They're generally worth downloading them all, because uh, there is a lot of very fun mods that people play, a lot of very fun map sets, and I recommend uh, just letting it do its thing. None of them are very large, usually around you know, 10 meg or, or less. So it's really cool how um, convenient it is. Once you've got all this stuff set up, you don't have to mess with it again. 